Right guys, let's have a look at 23. The last four, 23, 24, 25 and 26, they're going to be these trig ratios that I want to verify that they differentiate, what they differentiate to the, on the table of standard derivatives, yeah? So using our rules, we're going to differentiate tan. We've mentioned it before, I think, but I just wanted to do it explicitly in the question. So let's just quickly do this then. So the u is sine, yeah? And the v is cos. So do u dx then? The sine differentiates to cosine x. The v dx, the cosine, differentiates to minus sine x. So we get the y dx then. Equals uh, v du dx, cos times cos is cos squared. Minus u to v dx, sine times minus sine. Minus, make that into a plus, and that'll be sine squared. One set over v squared. Cosine x squared. Uh, the whole thing squared, which we write as cos squared x. Sine squared plus cos squared is a trig ratio, which equals 1. So we can replace that by 1. 1 over cos squared. Now I'm going to show you this explicitly now. That can be written as 1 over cos x squared, and 1 over cos is sec x. So we can put squared there, and customarily we write that as sec squared x, don't we? So there we are, that's why that's why we see on the table, using the uh, quotient rule, we can verify that tan differentiates to sec squared x. And sec, of course, is just the shorthand thing of writing whatever cos. Yeah, so that's 23 done. So have a look at the other few to finish this section. Great.